consider my signature style to sort of be a lot of gradients with spray paint um, and the splatter paint technique so I'm trying to bring that into most of the works that I'm doing here but I also want to push myself as well and try different styles and approaches to doing things I don't want to just be doing the exact same work on every mural that I do so hopefully all five pieces offer something unique it's not just you know you can tell that they're done by the same artist I yeah want to want to mix things up a little bit so I guess early on growing up I was really influenced by the old prints in books the line and hatch black and white um, and street art, when I moved to the city um, in Wollongong, because I grew up in the country, um, it really grabbed me because it was very bright colours that were being used and it was accessible to everyone. You didn't have to go into a gallery to see these works. Um, so I really wanted to combine both this sort of traditional style of creating artwork but mix it with this new style as well. So I really like doing things like the um, works that I'm doing here in Dubbo, having old characters, bringing them into a new contemporary style, especially with the use of colours. Um, I've really enjoyed watching the little film docos on Kate Lee. Um, although I knew her name, I didn't realise she was at such um, a forefront of the 1920s crime scene in Sydney. So that was all very sort of exciting and that. It's just one of those characters that, you know, you feel kind of a bit, oh, I shouldn't be reading about her. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, she was kind of, kind of an interesting woman and someone who was a female doing that in the 1920s and controlled all the men. I was like, wow, kind of like, she's, she is an anti-hero, but um, you kind of got to give us some props too, I think. <laughs> so I enjoyed watching The Thorn Birds by Colleen McCullough, the TV miniseries. I watched that while I was doing that work. Um, I'd never seen it before, but I really got into it. So yeah, that was a lot of fun.